artists. Today we're going to be inspired by a poem as we create our artwork. I'm gonna read you the poem now. It is called Bleezer's Ice Cream. I am Ebenezer Bleezer. I run Bleezer's Ice Cream Store. There are flavors in my freezer you have never seen before. 28 divine creations, too delicious to resist. Why not do yourself a favor and try the flavors on my list? Coco Moco Macaroni, Tapioca Smoked Bologna, Checkerberry Cheddar Chew, Chicken Cherry Honeydew, Tutti Frutti Stewed Tomato, Tuna Taco Baked Potato, Lobster Lychee Lima Bean, Mozzarella Mango Steam, Almond Ham Meringue Salami, Yam Anchovy Prune Pastrami, Sassafras Slovaki Hash, su Sukiyaki Succotash, Butter Brickle Pepper Pickle, Pomegranate Pumpernickel, Peach Pimento Pizza Plum, Peanut Pumpkin Bubblegum, Broccoli Banana Bluster, Chocolate Chop Suey Cluster, Avocado Brussels Sprout, Periwinkle Sauerkraut, Cotton Candy Carrot Custard, Cauliflower Cola Mustard, Onion Dumpling Double Dip, Turnip Truffle Triple Flip, Garlic Gumbo Gravy Guava, Lentil Lemon Liver Lava, Orange Olive Bagel Beet, Watermelon Waffle Wheat. I am Ebenezer Bleezer. I run Bleezer's Ice Cream Store. Taste a flavor from my freezer. You will surely ask for more. So those are some wacky flavors in his ice cream store. Our project today is going to be coming up with our own wacky ice cream flavors. And something that I noticed in reading all these is that some of these um, flavors use alliteration. And that is when the first letter of each word is the same. So for example, cotton, candy, carrot, custard. This is an example of alliteration because all of the words start with the letter C. Tutti Frutti Stewed Tomato is a fun flavor. That one does not use alliteration. So as you are brainstorming your words, I want you to challenge yourself to try to use some alliteration. While you're brainstorming, um, let's try to stick to foods instead of going to eating a shoe or a plant. So let's try to um, stick to foods. And something that might help you is maybe think of a dinner food mixed with a dessert food and then tack on the end of it something that you might really find in an ice cream shop like a swirl, um, mocha, cream, blast, split, twist, okay? Here is what the project, well, what my project um, looked like at the end. And let's go ahead and make one together. Okay, so we listened to the poem, Bleezer's Ice Cream, and we brainstormed our own wacky, ice cream flavors, hopefully using some alliteration. And now we are ready to draw our ice cream cone. We are going to draw a cone with five ice cream scoops that will include all five of the scoops that we, the flavors that we brainstormed. So I'm gonna start with my cone and that's going to be a V. And I'm making mine on the left side of my paper because I want my ice cream stack to be tall and start tipping over because five scoops is a lot of ice cream. They don't normally offer that at the ice cream stores. All right, so to start, if I think about an, a scoop of ice cream, they take a spoon or actually a scoop 
and they scoop it out of the big container of ice cream. So the top of it is going to be round, the bottom of it probably not perfectly round. So I'm going to start by making a curved line and the bottom is gonna be sort of like this. And I'm drawing lightly because I know that I'm gonna go back and erase certain areas. I think I want this bottom part to kind of be dripping down. And again, I will go back and erase that. I don't need to do it right now because I have other things I'll erase later. So to add my next scoop, it's going to look similar to my first one, but if you think about it, here's my first scoop and my second scoop is going to be squished on top of it, okay? So it will be overlapping my first scoop. So I'm gonna draw the same curved line, but this is going to kind of sit on that uh, first scoop. I'm gonna do the same thing for my third scoop. And now I'm gonna to start to kind of lean my ice cream tower over. Almost tipping. And this one might actually be kind of dripping in different areas. All right, now I'm going to go back and erase what I call the helping lines, the lines that we don't need. So it's looking good, but right now this ice cream cone is just floating in the air and I want it to look like it is sitting in something. It, you could make yours with a hand holding on to it, but I think I'm gonna make a little ice cream cone holder um, at some ice cream shops around here. I've seen that lately, um, maybe at the front where you pay so that you can set your ice cream in it while you get your money out or you get a drink or a napkin and then you can pick it back up. So I'm gonna draw that. So I'm gonna draw a horizontal line. I'm gonna jump over my ice cream cone. And then I'm gonna draw another horizontal line, but this time I'm drawing right over my ice cream cone. Now I want to make it make an oval to make it look like my ice cream is sitting inside of this hole. I'm gonna draw two more ovals so that two more ice cream cones could sit in there. And then I need to erase this line, these two lines actually here. So now it looks like my ice cream cone is sitting in that oval hole. Okay? Now I'm going to use my Sharpie or permanent marker or pen to outline my pencil lines and this is gonna help my lines stand out. You do not have to do this, but uh, you know I love Sharpies, so. going to now go back and erase our messy pencil lines. So this is going to be the lines that are sticking out after we sharpie that sort of make our drawing look sloppy. So we're going to clean it up a little bit. So we have our five ideas for flavors. So now I think it's a good idea to write the flavors here and that will help us brainstorm how to add details and colors um, 
when we color and decorate these. So let's do that real quickly. Alright, so I have my ideas here. Obviously my ideas will be different from yours. If you are stuck, you're welcome to use my ideas. Um, now I'm going to start adding my details. Okay, so I am finished with mine. I decided for the broccoli banana blast, I made little bits of broccoli here, and then I made banana and blue stripes. Orange Oreo made me think of tiger stripes, so I made it let my ice cream look like that. Salmon strawberry split, I added strawberries and sort of a salmon, salmonish pink color. Cheeto chocolate chips, these are my Cheetos and my chocolatey ice cream. These are little mini tacos with my pinkish Twizzler color. All right, this is mine. I can't wait to see your creative flavors. I hope you enjoy this.